we're ready to make our own slide, but we have to remove the slide. You don't just yank it off. What you're going to do is lower the stage, give yourself some working space again, use the slide clip and your finger and take your slide off and you'll return it to the, whenever you have a prepared slide, you'll return it to the designated slide tray. I'm just putting it aside. You'll notice a couple of things. One thing I want you to be mindful of is you need to reach around the microscope. You don't want to hit this thing. Okay, that was our uh, slide adjustment carriage. Uh, and then you'll just mess up everything on the microscope. The supplies we need for making our own slide in this case are very simple. You'll be provided with um, a box of slides that's in your special little student black box. These things are cover slips and word to the wise. They open like this. I know, seems like an odd design. And there they are. They're little pieces, very thin pieces of glass, use caution. And this is some water. Normally you would have this in a dropper bottle available to you. Here in my makeshift home situation, uh, this is just some tap water. Okay, no distilled, no 95% anything. And this we call a red potato. All right, so your job is to take a slide that's nice and clean, hold it from the edges again, and check it. This actually is dirty-ish, so I'm going to clean it. There we go. And I will put it on, in this case, I'm just going to put it on a piece of paper so you can see it a little better. There it is. So. In class, you wouldn't be given a whole potato, nor do, would you need to get one. You would actually, I'm back to my cooking show, guys. You actually just be handed a little chunk. And what you'll do is take the thinnest possible piece. Okay, we don't want any home fries or anything like that. Now, I'm going to see if I can even, I don't have any scalpels here. Um, so I'm trying to do the best I can. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, look at that. Ooh, that's good. All right, so I'm putting it on my slide, and I'm using my drop of water, and -da, one more. I should have worn my apron for this so I can wipe my hands. All right, then I'm carefully grabbing a cover slip. Here, let me put that a little bit better. I'm going to move the potato. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to take off one one cover slip. <laughs> Sometimes you grab two. Oopsie. I grabbed two and didn't even know it. All right. I'm going to use the tip of my knife. And here's how you would put a cover slip on. I'm trying to exercise a little bit of caution. Okay. And I'm slowly lowering it from one edge to the other. Excellent. By doing that, I pushed all the air bubbles out, so there's no air bubbles in this. And like I said, this is almost a home fry. But um, in lab, we would find that with scalpels, you can get a much thinner cut. Oh, and actually on this slide, I'm going to focus right here. That's too thick, I can tell you already. That looks thin enough. Straighten out my cover slip. All right, so I'm using my technique. Stage is down. Got it. Slide, clip, slide, thing. It's still, the carriage is still in place to some extent from our letter E. All right, so I'm using my slide adjustment knobs. I'm getting it in place before I even start. I'm not going to start at high power, so I'm going to go back to low power. Check. All right, so I'm looking through and I see absolutely nothing. You notice my light is still at the good setting that we used before. I don't need to do anything. So let me start my focusing. And here we go. Slowly, slowly, I believe there's something here. I believe. There it is. Oh, it is so cool. Got to check out your pictures. Looks like bubbles on a bubble bath. Okay. And when I look really carefully, I can see there's big bubbles and all these little bubbles inside. It really came out good, considering this is our kitchen, kitchen thing, right? It looks so good. All right. Well, I love it so much, I want to increase the magnification. So let's do it, baby. Didn't move the stage, just moved to the medium power, and whoo, 
Oh, it's looking good. It's getting a little fuzzy now. I liked it better before. So I'm just jiggling my coarse adjustment knob. And it's looking pretty good. That's nice. I used the little fine focus. That was this little knob. But you never turn this more than half a turn. If you find that you need to, don't use it. Go back to the course adjustment knob. So it's looking absolutely fabulous. And we now have these really cool potato cells that I'd like you to take a look at. That came out really great. So let's stain it now. What? Yeah, so this, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't have another small glass. This is simulated iodine, alrighty, and um, the iodine has an amber color to it, but when it touches starch, it turns dark purple to almost black. So what we'll be able to do is we know potatoes have the carbohyd complex carbohydrate starch in them. So why don't we see where the starch is located within the potato cells? All right, um, iodine is extremely um, dangerous. So this is not iodine. It's also kept in a brown bottle and it will stain you. So be careful. And even for me, this is just, um, food coloring. The other thing is, had to get a straw, jump cut right there. Film 101. Alrighty, I really did, we took it. All right, so this straw is going to simulate a pipette that comes in, is on the top, screw top of the uh, amber bottle containing the iodine. Here's basically what's gonna happen. Everything is perfect, everything's in focus. I don't want to screw it up. So what I'll do, and I'm just going to double check. It's still there, it's still beautiful. I am going to pretend that I am taking my iodine using my pipette. I gotta be careful anyway, this is my pipe. And I put it at one end, and I just re I'm releasing like a few drops. I put it at, oh, it worked beautifully. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually worked. Um, it, at one end, how did I know what end? I was lucky. The fact that I cut a crummy onion slice was adventitious because it's lift, the slide cover is lifted up on one side. So it's like, oh, neat. So I had a little in. This we keep in our... Um, black box of microscope stuff also. It's called bibulous paper. And it works like, it's like a paper towel. It can suck things. So if mine didn't go through so beautifully, what you could do is you could take the paper, put it gently at the opposite end of the cover slip. And if you watch, look what it's doing. It's pulling the um, iodine under the slide to cover the specimen. Okay, now, as I look at my specimen, <laughs> all the starch has turned a purple color. Okay, it's fun to just kind of, I can't believe I just said that, it's fun to kind of play with the light and stuff and get different effects. I tell you, mine is almost suitable for framing. I can see it like enlarged and over like the living room couch. Great. Okay, I have my phone here. It's okay once in a while to have them because you can actually use your phone to take pictures, all right? And those are the pictures that I'll actually submit for you. It was too hard to get the camera to work on the, um, on the microscope right now. All right, we have one last section. This last section is about cleanup and how to stow or put away the microscope correctly. All right, um, my cameraman brought to my attention that when I was talking about, look, it stains the something, he said I said onion. Sorry about that, this is clearly a potato. All right, so it stains the starch in the potato, a dark purple. Something else that came up during filming, which is actually important, is that if you hit the table, he was supposed to shake. <laughs> um, hit the table, for example, these minor little moves will actually come up through the microscope and it will vibrate your subject. And in some cases, if it was a, like a live thing, you could actually bounce it out of the way. So it's like, oh, that's no good. All right, so let's clean up. What do we do? 
what you do, you lower the stage, check, you make sure you're at your lowest magnification, the shortest one. You take your slide out. In this, usually there's a designated area for spent slides. I'm just putting it aside. Then I'm looking at this carriage thing here, this slide carriage. So I'm moving it so it's about even on both sides. So when I put it away in the cabinet, which is only a little bit wider than the microscope, I won't whack it and per perhaps wreck it. Everything else is fine. Then I turn the microscope off, unplug it, and wrap the cord carefully um, either around it or ooh. <laughs> In this case, this one has a little Velcro to close it. So you fold it neatly. And then when you carry the microscope, you make sure that you hold it like this. Okay, and that way you ensure that no loose parts fall off. For example, this can fall off and the filter can fall out. Alrighty, there was one other thing. No, I think that will do it for today. Uh, yeah, I'll clean up everything, put it back where I found it or where my instructor tells me. And we'll talk about orient the opposite position of the microscope some other time. Okay?